Okay, this is the electric power supply coming into the house. And uh, it's nice. We're going to have a little sleeve on here that helps it move a little bit. Unlike uh, we did it. All of us did it a few years ago. That's the new method. We're inside the garage. The home face is south, so this is the east wall. This is the electric service panel. And we're coming in here and we're finding that this cable that's coming into the house okay, is a number two aluminum. Right there. See that? Does that fit? That's what I'm seeing. Number two aluminum. And over here, I'm reading number two. Just want to make sure my eyes were working right. <clears throat> Number two, stranded conductor, aluminum. They're rated for about 100 amps. In different conditions, it might be rated for you know 90 amps. So at best, it's rated for 100 amps. And that's fine as long as this electric service panel only has 100 amps. If it doesn't, then maybe the electrician can explain it to us. It'd be nice if you could. The code inspector. Code inspectors are people. All right? Get this. They're busy. They don't have all the time in the world. But they are people, and they want you to have a reasonably safe home. So if I say something, if anything's said... And, and you really want, they, they have the authority of a circuit judge. They can say, oh, it should have 200, but I'm going to allow 100. They could actually say that and say why or whatever. They might not, you know. But if there's something, you know, genuinely wrong, like I feel like this is, then the code inspector should say like, oh, wow, let's, let's get that fixed. He doesn't, he doesn't have any bias. All right, this lead, L1, could have come up in a little more. See how L2 is fitting in there all nice and snug? And this cabinet comes with neoprene bumpers on it. That If you don't know that's hot, you don't belong in this cabinet. I get that. All right? But it should have neoprene covers on it. Maybe they leave them in their pocket or their toolbox until they can come back out. You know, they don't want them walking away, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Bonding location is supposed to be labeled in here, but the cabinet's not completely installed. It's not completely installed. And then here, look at that. See those? Those are screws. The screws are faster and they're tighter. I get that. Zip it in there with some screws, Philip. We're going to the beer store. Oh, Doug, you're the fastest guy in the shop. I know. I'm getting a raise next week. Yeah, that's the way it works. That's the way it works. But if you read the instructions, if you read the instructions, the cabinet manufacturer thinks these should be nailed in place. See, nails have a much more tension strength, much more shear strength than screws. Screws are faster and tighter, much more shear strength. So if this building was to experience a tornado, for example, and it blows up your garage, well, we've already got a bad day. I get that. I get that. It's a bad day. But it, this cabinet being screwed in, it's more likely to pop out, and the first responder is going to be stepping over it. If it's nailed in, then maybe this whole wall will come down as a section, and it could be safer for a first responder coming in and trying, trying to you know, help do some good, help somebody. And that's why I didn't make the code up. I didn't, and I didn't make the manufacturer's installation instructions up. I didn't do that. That's not why I'm here. I didn't wake up this morning and say, how can I make everybody's life miserable? I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk about screws. I didn't do that. That's not me. So what do we learn? <coughs> L1's not properly protected. Do not have a pro... Um, cover booties on there. Um, L1's not installed completely right. As tight as it could be. And the cabinet was screwed in. And over here we're still on the same subject. So this is a good one. 
this will be where your UFER, U F E R. Okay, this is where your UFER is. That's your main grounding and probably your bonding for the house as well. We have a PEX plumbing system. Bonding gets kind of confusing. We manage. We usually manage with a UFER.